Okay, hi folks, we're going to do another one of these. I've done quite a few of these switch panel ones, but people keep asking me different questions, which is absolutely fantastic. I don't mind that whatsoever. So they said, can you wire up another switch panel, um, which they're going to put in their van, the same sort of style, and include uh, the bus bar, the negative bus bar, plus how to wire the switches up and how they work. So... Some of the kit that you've got in front of me is, I've got a buzz bar. Let's pretend this is a big leisure battery. It's a motorbike battery, I know. Okay, so this is a big leisure battery inside your car, 130 amp hours, whatever you want. Okay, um, this is quite a useful bit of kit. These are um, crimpers and um, what they call them, shrink, shrink wrap pads so we'll put that to one side i've got one out which i'm going to show you that working as well i've also got a couple of cables i've connected up i'm going to show you exactly what i'm doing and how i'm doing it because that's what i've been asked to do so we're going to put this aside some of the stuff we got i've got an extra long cable here which we will pretend that it's going to a device that we're going to wire up from one of the switches so i've got an inline fuse as well on this but we've also got inline fuses on the switch panel which i was asked about as well so yes some switch panels come with it some don't so you want to check that out okay so this is the switch panel and if we flick it around like so you'll see that all all of them every single switch this is your switches here on the top okay are all fused every single one of them okay so you got one two, three, four, five switches, all fused there. So your live will come from these switches, okay? Your negative, so let's, uh, let's have a think, well, can, how can I do this right? So let's pretend that this is a device that you want wiring up in your vehicle. This is all I've got available. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily wire this up. It'll be a light or a USB or something like that. So on this device, you would have this, let's say the first one, which we will do, go into here. Okay, this would then go to here, the live. And then this negative on this one would go to this bus bar. But I will show you that in a sec. So that's just, that's just a, dip, a pretend device. Right, so first of all, we've got to get power to this switch. Power and negative to the switch. So the best way of doing it would be so i've got two pieces here which i've pre-crimped and how i want them so the negative one would come from the battery and it would go to my bus bar here okay so we'll put that on there now well that's be ultra tight it would be i will tighten it down a little bit so this all this is in real time you'll be doing this yourselves if you've got a bus bar okay so you connect that to that. Okay, screw that in. Now this part of it, so this would be coming from your battery now here. We can do that. We just you crocodile clip, but you'll probably have proper connectors on your your battery like I have. I've got proper connectors, so that would be going on there. I'm just going to tighten this up just a little bit so it's nice and tight. Okay, excuse me. There we go. These are these are absolutely a fantastic must-have. Okay, they've got color-coded, so you've got your red, blue, and yellow, and you've got all your different sizes of wire cuttings, and you'll get used to it. And you also got a pair of cutters here, and they work brilliant. And they need to be worked in conjunction with this bit of kit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put. I'm going to show you. We're going to put a this is a, on here we got it. This is a female. This is a female. And on here we're going to put a male connector. I'm only doing once just to show you. So I'm just um, pause a sec while I find one. Okay, so that's the male. And he'll go on there like so. And then we'll crimp him. So you can see him just, can you see that? Just sticking out there a little bit. And then if you look on your tool, number red at the very end is your crimper. So you just go like that. And you crimp it and that is done now on the on the live of the switches what this is this is the coming in so this live coming in and this negative 
coming in. So this switch goes to every single device on here. So if you look at it, the red comes in. You can see that the red coming in here. This is the red. And it goes loop, 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 and then loop again, loop again, loop again, and loop again. So everything is now live. Everything. Once you wire this up, all this will come live. So all your USBs, your 12 volt socket will come live. Everything. You'll see this in a sec. All right. And now the negative side of this will go to the bus bar. But before we do that, what we'll do is we'll get this shrink wrap. All right, and we'll slide it over there like so. All right, or oh, even that way around would be better. So we'll slide it over there. All right, so, and then we'll push this into here, and there's a little, and it goes in nice and tight. There you go. And then what we'll do then, we'll slide the shrink wrap over there like that. And then what you'll do, you'll just get a lighter and you just don't leave it on there too long, just enough. And you'll see that it's shrinking and it's wrapping. So that's why it's called shrink wrap. I think they call it that, depends what you want to call it. And then that is now, not only is it tight, you can touch it a bit hot, but it also protects it. If anything touches this, it won't short it. That, they are absolutely brilliant. Okay, so the next thing to do is then put a crimp on the end of this and wire it to the bus spot. This is a bit crude, I know, but you'll see what I mean in a second. Right, so we need another one to go on here, and we're going to use a blue circle. And the next thing is to put the black into this. There we go. And just crimp him down. So blue, second one along. Make sure he comes towards the end, otherwise you'll miss it. And that's it. So once he's done, then he fits on this side. It doesn't really matter which side of the bus bar. And you'll so you'll see in a second. Okay, so you'll see we've almost, when you look at it, we've almost got a circuit. So you've got your battery, you've got your control panel. We'll go from the back for start with it. So you've got your negative coming in, going round, coming to the bus bar, from the bus bar. So this is a, this is going to have a connect. It's like if you were connecting it straight to the battery, you'd just put that to that. But we're using the bus bar because each one of these devices needs to be negative, needs to be grounded. Okay. So from here to the buzz bar, from the buzz bar to the main input. So they've, they've done this, not me. This is their main input as, as opposed as well to this one, which is their main input. Now we don't want any of these wires to touch. Well, they shouldn't if we don't get a, sh if we don't, if they're not switched on, they should be all right. So if we connect this now and complete the circuit, all right, so if I turn this around carefully, we'll just flip it over for now. There we have. So we now have power. And each one of these switches should be live. Okay. I don't know why they've done it this way round. I don't know why that you switch it up and it's on. Maybe because it corresponds with each one of these little panels that you can put stickers in. So we'll turn him off for now. And the next thing to do is wire up a device that we want to power. So this is the device here. So we'll just turn this round again so we can see. And we need this one. So this is the first switch. This one here is switch number one. We're going to call it that one there. Okay, so we're bringing him round. It's already got a spade on it. So we need now is a spade on the other end. Or no, not a spade, a female connector. So this is the female, this is the male. Okay, that goes in. And then this now goes to the bus bar i'll show you this in a second so undo him so put this on here it won't 
be live yet until we've connected the other end up. So. And normally I'd put a bit of shrink wrap on that, but we should be all right. We should be all right. So there's your switch. Right, that's going to turn this round a sec. Okay, that's better with a quick tidy up. So, switch number one we said was this one here. And we've got a live wire feed going from here through this cable. This here. And we're going to connect it to our, let's, what should we call it? Light switch. It doesn't really matter. Pump. It doesn't really matter what you want to call it. This is just, this is just for demo purposes. Okay, so we will move that across like that. I'll undo these and we'll connect it up. All right. So negative to negative, positive to positive. Okay. I've also this has got an inline fuse as well in it. Even though it's fused anyway, it is fused. But this is a spare wire that I had, and I thought, well, why not? It won't hurt. Okay. Then we go to the live. Now remember, this is not switched on. It's connected to the battery, which is fine, but it's not switched on yet. It's better work. I'm going to look a right plonker. Okay, so there we go. Now, this device has got a separate switch on it as well. So I think it, it should be off at the moment. So let's have a look at this. Right. Okay, so this is your switch. So we've got power now going. From the battery, negative, positive, round, only to one, because the rest of them are over here, look, they're disconnected. Okay, so we've only got one connected. That's going live. So the negative part of it is going to the buzz bar. The live is then connected to here, and then from the buzz bar to here as well. All right, so now we should have power to turn this on. There we go. Working perfect, but it should also be controlled from here. It's pretty straightforward. These are quite easy to do. I mean, they come pre-done for you anyway. So on again. If you, if this was in the ceiling and you had a separate light switch, and then you could turn it off at the ceiling as well. Entirely up to you what you do. Okay, so we're just going to quickly recap. Okay, so there we go. Positive, positive and negative go into the light. If it was switched, it is. If it isn't, it's entirely up to you. It'll still be powered by uh, this okay so this will be coming along your ceiling this wire we're coming down the walls wherever it's going to come from and they will all the blacks will then go to this bus bar which mine in my van is fitted inside a case with this fitted to the front of the case this is inside so all your negatives from all your devices so this negative goes to the bus bar as you can see and then the live goes to the switch on the live of the fuse so this switch and then the live on the fuse. you can't it, it's pretty straightforward all right and then this switch is then powered from the live straight to the battery and then the negative goes to the buzz bar which then is this this becomes the negative which in theory you could connect this device straight to the battery but then you wouldn't be able to switch it on or switch it off so the idea is, is just being a switch that's all that is you're just wiring up a switch in between and there you go it works perfect so also you you should have a light in here which is your usbs and they should be active as well so they'll be live let's check in that and also i don't think there's a light in this one but i haven't got a cigarette lighter you can actually swap these out you can buy another usb Exactly the same as this, and just copy the wires and just swap it out. See, two wires, two wires at the back. So you could put a USB here and then the USB, so you'd have four USBs rather than two. Take that off. Always looks better, that does. And that's really it. It's pretty straightforward. So, like someone asked me, that, and I've done it. So, buzz bar has been included, and how to wire a lived and fused switch. To the device to a now, like I said, pump, fan. This is you would I wouldn't wire this via this cable. I wouldn't wire this as an inverter. I wouldn't wire this to this 
device here i'd go wire this straight to the battery i'd go straight to the battery using proper these are the proper size cables you'd use for this but this is just demo purposes demo okay this will be a lighter a fan or usbs or whatever one you can have another usbs coming off these uh, and they can go into the wall somewhere i've got a couple in my van so like the negative comes back to the bus bar the light comes back to the other switch this is another one here and then when you switch that on that becomes live and so on and so on and so on so each one will then become live and you can have all of them on at the same time usbs lights fans whatever you want okay you can even power a fridge from it a small fridge but um, yeah, that's it really. Um, I hope this was any good to the, the person who requested it and I don't mind doing them. If anybody else would like to see some more wiring or whatever, I don't mind, I'll do it. Just leave a comment down below and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed the video, if you want to give it a thumbs up, that would be great. Uh, a like, possible subscribe if you wish, I don't mind. And we'll definitely, definitely catch you in the next one. All the best.